Okay, so you have already created your account and app is synced with blockchain. You are in the chat screen and let's say you'd like to see what is in your user profile. Tap on this hamburger menu button in the top left corner. So this is the default user profile picture. This is the default username and this is the status that is visible to all your contacts. Let's change the default values to some nice values we want. So let's say my username is Anna and I'd like to change my status to something else. You can see I've used some hashtag and I will tell about it a bit later. Now to change my user profile picture I can tap on this picture or I can tap on the three dots. And uh, we can see profile screen. This profile screen actually contains almost the same information. You can see the username, you can see the status. And I will explain all these fields a bit later. So let's again uh, tap on three dots here. And say we'd like to edit this screen. And to tap again on the edit to provide our user uh, picture. I have two options to select uh, from existing uh, photos or to caption, caption you one. Let's say I'd like to select from the existing and I need to provide, to give access uh, to my files. This is not very exciting one, but at least it's mine. And to save it, I'm, I will tap on save button. And to return to uh, profile screen, I need to tap on the back button. So let's talk about uh, this uh, keys, address and show care option. Uh, the public key is something that you will need to share with anyone uh, who would like to add you as a contact. So let's say you have a friend, you'd like to chat with a friend uh, in the status app, you need to send to your friend your public key so your friend will add uh, you as a contact to his status app. You can uh, do it in several ways. You can show QR code if you are sitting together, for example, in a cafe and uh, you, you, uh, your friend can scan it. Or you can copy your public key and send it. Or you can also share it via email. I will show a bit later how to add a contact. The address field, this one, is actually your address in the, uh, in the network. So uh, this is your wallet address. And this option, show QR code, shows the same public key as we've just used here. So they are identical and both shows the same QR code for the public key. Here, if I would specify my phone number, I would uh, get it shown and it's shown only for me. So uh, nobody from my contacts or from any other users in the uh, status app can see my phone number. I would say that's it for about the profile screen. And I like to move to the uh, right phone actually to get uh, application installed also on the another device just to show how they can, they can communicate with each other. And I will install it a bit uh, differently. So as you remember on the left side I was using Play Store to install application. Uh, in case you don't have access to Play Store you can use uh, our nightly builds and you can download APK file and install it directly on your device. So this one is in a 
emulator, Android emulator phone, and I will just drag and drop the APK file. I will go to my applications and I can see that status installed there. And I will just run it um, and create the same thing, the same password. And I also will request some uh, ether via faucet command. So we have two phones that can uh, talk to each other. So I have created, uh, I have installed application on the second phone. It's already synced and I'm tapping on faucet command and sending the request to get some test ether. Again, I have already option to go back and I can see the same chat screen. And I like to change my username. And maybe add some hashtags to my status. That's it. So I can check again and I can see that the username is changed. <laughs> 